This is the second video wherein we are working with variables and data types in Python. So what is a variable? Variable is a container which stores some value. And there are different types of value called as data type. It is the data type, float data type, boolean data type, string data type, and complex data type in Python. So we will create a variable of each data type, print the type of the variable and value of the variable on the user screen. So in the first example, we are working with integer data type. So we have stored 10 inside var1, printed the type of the variable using print function, print opening and closing parenthesis. Then you have type function and we have given variable var inside it. Then we have printed the value of the variable in line number six. In the next example, we have created a variable of float data type. So we have stored floating point number 20.50 in var2. We have printed the type of variable using print in opening and closing parenthesis. We have called the type function and passed it as an argument val2. In the next statement, we have print the value of val2. In the third example, we have, we are stored true inside var3 true and false boolean values so var3 stores true next statement we have print a type of variable so print in opening and closing parenthesis type function var3 and in the next statement line number 18 we are printing the value of true boolean variable var3 in the last ex uh, second last example we have created a string which is a character array in single op uh, in single, you can give a string in single quotes or you can give a string in double quotes. So here we have given a string character array inside double quotes. This will be stored in variable four, var four. Then in the next statement, we are printing the type of variable print in opening and closing parentheses type var four. In the next statement, we are printing the actual value of variable print var four. In the next example, we will store complex data type in variable verify, print the type of the variable and print the value of the variable. So we are storing 20 plus 5j, representing it as a complex number. In Python, you have to use j. So the real part is 20 and the complex part is 5j. This will be stored in verify. Then we are printing the type of variable on the user screen using print. Inside print, we are calling type function and passing the variable verify. So verify type will be printed on the user screen. Then we are printing the actual variable value verify print verify. So this, this is the actual program which is stored as 1.py uh, inside the folder getting started with Python quickly 2022 uh, on desktop. So to run this file, we have to just right click go to run inside terminal. So we will search for option, run Python file in terminal. This will open terminal and run the respective Python file. This will take some time, but we get, we will get uh, the output for after the execution of the code. And you can see the file has executed successfully. If you navigate through the terminal, you have first class integer, which was type and value is 10. Second, you have class float, value is 20.5. Third, you have class bool, and value is true. Fourth, you have class string, value is character array. And last, you have class complex, and value is 20, point, 20 plus 5. So we have seen integer, float, string, boolean, and complex data types, stored them in the variable and printed them on the user screen using VSO.